Hi everyone, my name is Tria. I have just finished my six years of Oxford Medical School and I'm finally a doctor. Today I'm going to talk about my experience of the last six years, the good things and also about the things that I didn't like as much. So I thought I'd start by talking about the good things about my experience. So some of the most fun that I've had in Oxford have been at Oxford Balls, which are these big extravagant parties that each college throws once every few years. Everyone dresses up in fancy ball gowns and they run from 7pm to 5am. They have music, dancing and lots of fun rides. Another one of the good things about my experience was the teaching. So Oxford has a tutorial system where a few times a week you'll meet in pairs with a tutor. Although this can be very intense, I thought it was a really good way to learn. And your tutors really push you to think outside of the box and beyond your limits. It's a really good way of improving yourself academically. I also enjoyed how Oxford Medical School has quite a traditional structure with three years of preclinical and three years of clinical school. I've talked more about this in another video, so check that out if you want to find out more. So Oxford has a lot of extracurricular activities as well, such as sports, drama, and music, which happen at very high levels, but you don't have to be great to take part. During my time in Oxford, I tried different sports out, like rowing and badminton. I also tried dance classes, took a Korean class. Basically, whatever you're interested in, there will be society. I have friends at Doctor Who Society, at Anime Society, whatever you can think of, really. Finally, I really like the collegiate system that Oxford has. So when you get an offer from Oxford, it will be from a specific college. So although all your lectures and classes will be delivered centrally, your colleges is where you will live, eat, hang out, and have tutorials. And no matter what college you apply to, you'll mostly end up being really fond of your own college. The great thing about the college system is that you get to hang out and live with people who aren't just from your course. One of the things about other medical schools that I've heard from my friends is that the medical students are quite separated from the rest of the uni. Whereas in Oxford, you'll be living with people from all different subjects. And that's quite nice because one of the problems with medics is that you can become very medic focused and sort of live in this bubble where only medicine exists. So the good thing about the college system is it gives you some variety as well. So now that I've talked about some of the good things, I think it's time to talk about some of the things that I didn't really like in Oxford. So the first thing I want to talk about is the workload, and it is really, really intense here. With medical school at Oxford, you're working hard throughout the whole year, and you also have these unforgiving exams right at the end, so the work is really non-stop. I think doing such a rigorous course really tests your motivation to study the subject, so I think the only reason I actually could get through the six years is because I genuinely did find most of the things interesting, and I did want to be a doctor. Certainly for me, and I know a lot of my friends will agree with this, there were times during the course where it really did make me question, do I actually want to be a doctor? Is it really worth it? The answer to that question, I will let you know when I find out. And I do think that as a medical student at Oxford, you work harder than your peers in other subjects. I'm sure people will disagree with me on that. I do think medics have one of the highest contact hours per week. You have lectures every day from 9am until lunch. You have practicals most afternoons, and then you also have tutorials. So it is a lot. So one of the things about Oxford is that you write essays. And actually, I really did enjoy writing essays, but the problem was the number of essays. You're reading and writing constantly. And especially in the first two years, there were many times where I stayed up late and had to miss activities in order to finish essays. I've never stayed up all night studying, but I know people who have. The latest that I stayed up was rising until 3.30 a.m. cramming for my anatomy exam in third year. And one of the things I want to say though is that the intensity of work does vary throughout the six years. Although overall, yes, the intensity is quite high, there are certain years that feel like a break in comparison. So for me, this was third year and fourth year. It's widely accepted that second year and fifth year are the hardest. So based on what I've seen in the last six years, I think a lot of people who go to Oxford do suffer from toxic perfectionism. So everything that you do has to be the best, whether that's your academic work, your research, your extracurricular activities. So I think that can be quite difficult to adjust to. I found that in Oxford there is a constant pressure to be doing really well with your grades and also to be doing other things. Now a lot of this comes from me internally, but Oxford does create a very intense academic atmosphere. So in Oxford you're ranked according to your grades and then you're told you're ranking each year. Ranking is important because it impacts where you will get your first job. So the problem with this ranking system, and it's not just Oxford, it's probably medical schools in general, is that it pits the students against each other. It makes your academic success a very large part of your self-worth. So I've had to work hard to detach my self-worth from my grades. I think one of the things that I personally had to struggle with a lot is little fish, big pond scenario. In school, I was mostly at the top of my class for every subject and I would get over 90% in tests. So I then took that mindset into Oxford and found that actually everyone there also was the top of their class in their school. So when you're competing with people who are at a really high level, it's often difficult then to maintain a high ranking because the people that you're competing with are so good. 
The good thing about that is that you're constantly pushed to do better. I do generally think that I have excelled a lot more in Oxford than I would in other universities, but the price that you pay for that is the feeling that you're not actually doing that well, and you have to give up the expectation of always being the top of the class or always getting 90%. But letting go of this toxic perfectionism is something that I have managed to do over the last six years. It hasn't been easy, but I'm getting there. So like I said, Oxford isn't really for everybody. It is a very intense atmosphere, but you do get really great teaching. I think if someone were to ask me, do I regret going to Oxford to study medicine? And I know it sounds a bit doom and gloom, but despite everything I said, I definitely do not regret going to Oxford and I would do it again. But yes, it was hard, but I genuinely do think I'm going to be a better doctor and a better researcher as a result of that. I've had some really great times at Oxford and I've made friends for life. I think if I were to do the experience again, I would probably try to work a little bit less hard than I did and enjoy it more. And that's just generally an attitude that I'm trying to live by now. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that you could learn something from my experience. If you do have any questions about Oxford or medical school in general, then please let me know. Thank you and see you in the next video.